everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House, and you can catch us on YouTube at Joey143Jenny. So I have a couple of things. This is probably going to be a kind of a short video, but I did get a few orders, and I thought I would open them. I This feels like it's the rest of my Kathy Holden fabric, and it's from the Fabric Square Shop. So I'm going to just carefully carefully try to get this open. I always am fearful when I open the fabric ones. Well, really anything. I'm afraid I want to rip right through it. I am excited. Material Girl. Kathy Holden. Alright. Let's look. Oh, I can't wait. Where is the opening? There it is. Okay, so I'm filming in a different way. I did a test and it worked. That doesn't mean anything with my phone. So this may be another cattywampus uh, video. I don't know. So uh, this is where I got the rest of it. You can see here, Pure Joy Designs is where I got the one that I showed you earlier. So look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Now, I'll be doing a lot of fussy cutting and... Um, I'll be sewing butterflies on different things with uh, some slow stitching, but look at this. So I already showed you this one where you could cut out each one or or you could make a quilt, quilt around each spot. But this is her collage, which I love. <clears throat> look at this. Gorgeous. This particular picture reminds me of my childhood friend and I. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Kathy said that she thought of the two of us as well when she had that picture. So very, very happy with this. I can't wait to use it. Um, you can see that it, it's all different the way that things are laid out which is so great for a quilt or something like that because you know you can turn it and drape it and it's just going to turn out beautiful you can see different things like here you have this number going one way you have the letter going another way so so wonderful super super exciting so um i've i've been really really thinking about Kathy's fabric and I told you in a previous video how much I hoard it and I don't want to use it but uh, I do want to use it I just don't want to not have it I don't want to run out so I'm going to I think what I'm going to do is make a Kathy Holden fabric journal which will be very similar to my lace journal. I'll have to show you that someday. And then every time Kathy has a new fabric, I can put a piece of hers in that. So I might get that started as I'm doing the peacock journal. You know, I can, I like to do a couple of different things at one time because when you get tired of sewing uh, or your, your hand can't take it, much any longer than um you know you can work on paper and vice versa when you get when you get stuck or you just need a little change of pace you can get get going on that so beautiful beautiful fabrics and then the other thing i got i can't remember who i got this from so i hope i hope something is on the inside that tells me who this is from but I was inspired. Gilly Gustinelli is doing a stamp journal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I collected stamps as a young kid. My dad collected stamps and gave me his collection. My mother-in-law worked for a company as a secretary for decades. And every time, and they did a lot of shipping and receiving. So anytime something would come in, she would tear off the stamp. So she gave me an entire copy you know how copy reams come in a copy box it's huge full of stamps so I those stamps I go 
one by one because I want to make sure that uh, if they have any value that, you know, I'm respecting that with what she gave me. So um, those I, I don't use readily. I go through each and every one and check them. So it it's a little time consuming. Um, but anyway, so Gail's doing this stamp journal. So that's super fun. And uh, today in her video, she's using the Kathy Holden stamp fabric, which of course worked perfect. But she had shown some of these stamps or something similar to this, and I just thought they were adorable. So I rushed over to, it's called Sip Monk, C-I-P-M-U-N-K, Sip Monk, and it's on Etsy. And so I rushed over there and got those, and then I had to get some... I'll have to open these and show them to you at another time, but um, these are, well, let's see, do I have my, where's my jar, where's my, I'll just use my coffee coaster slash paint saucer here. Anyways, these are all floral, I'll turn that down so I don't get them, I can get them all out of here. Supposedly, these are all floral which is exciting because I love flowers. So those are very pretty. I don't know. Let me see if you can. Yeah, super pretty. I'm very happy with that. Nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Okay. And then she has, she has put in here J. So this must be, uh, Jay must identify to her what, what I ordered. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. I'm going to have to put an extra page in my ephemera holder just for flowers. I do have them separated out, but what right now I don't have a lot of flowers stamps, and so I just have one little pocket, and I think these would need a little bit more than that so we'll put those back let's see what this one is birds I ordered birds wouldn't it be great if there was a peacock in here working on the peacock journal I won't go one by one but I'll just kind of fan them out a little bit These are pretty neat and they're all different kinds. What is this one? Nope, not a peacock. My polish is coming off. I'm paper dyeing right now. I've been bleaching different things, you know, bathtub and things like that in the house because getting ready for Joey's surgery. I just want everything to be bleached and um and then I I've been paper dyeing for the journal. I've been doing like teals and greens for the for this peacock journal. So my nails are a mess. So I've got to get this polish off, but it's already chipping. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Very fun purchases. I hope you'll go over to Etsy. And again, it's C I P M U N K. And I don't know how you pronounce it. Sip Monk. Kip Monk. I don't know. Super nice person. She didn't have uh, that I could see like uh, the birds listed. And I just asked her, I said, hey, I'm looking for bird stamps. So maybe she does have them and I just didn't see them. She has so many. Um, and she was very eager to uh, help me find them. And then she, and then I asked her about some other, and she goes, yeah, I can send you some, I can't remember what it was, but she said that she had them, but it wasn't listed. And so, um, she did a special listing for me. So she was very, very easy to work with. So I hope you'll, I hope you'll go over there and, you know, check her out. Okay. So let's get all this out of the way and Let's back, back out. Again, I hope this video turns out. We'll see. 
Okay, sorry about that. So, uh, so anyway, these are some of the hinged pockets from Rachel's weekly challenge. And what I did here is I just stenciled along here. So you're not going to see this part, but you'll just see that part. So I stenciled it. I didn't do anything to the back. I thought about decorating, but I just love it. So I left it. Um, I did make a, a journal card. And here I'll probably put some coffee dyed paper. I won't cover the whole thing. Um, I'll just put it right down the middle so um, you can write on that. And this will be a lot sturdier once it's in the book. It's a little bit flimsy right now, but, you know, it'll it'll have when you open and uh, this is laying against a page, even though it's not going to be glued down, it's a little sturdier to get in and out. And then that was the other one that I did for the journal. And then here's another card. This one I think you could write on the back without me putting paper down. So I loved it. And I put a little tab at e on each one. So thinking through <laughs> this journal, it's a little bigger than a normal 9x6 journal. And and 9x6, I mean, there's no rule about that. That's just kind of, you know, you have an 85 by 11 paper typically. Your scrapbook paper comes 12x12. 12 12, and so a lot of times journals are nine by six. I, um, I think I'm going to do mine a little bit bigger. So what I did, because I, I want to get, I'm going to get some of that out of the way here. I want to get, uh, some of these taller things in, and I have some other tall things like this. This is 11 inches. Now I'm not going to make it that tall. But I do want to put this in. I think that would be super f nice. I will have to cut it off a little bit. I think that will be okay. It's a Bow Bunny. I have no idea where I got it. I might have... I think Bow Bunny you can get at Michael's maybe. And so what I did was I took... We got a huge box of cherries at Christmas from Joe's sister and her family. And so I cut it up. And what I think I'm going to do is use this as the cover. Of course, I'm going to cover it, and that's that's where I'm stuck. I haven't decided yet what to cover it with. Uh, it's probably going to be fabric of some sort, I believe, and so I'll probably pad it just a little bit with batting. This was the side of the box, so like the box is like this, and then it comes down like that, and then you have the bottom of the box. I cut that in half, and my, my thought to do is just just to overlap it like this. Because I just want to do a simple three to five pamphlet stitch. I don't, I don't want this journal to be big enough to have, you know, a true spine in it. So I'm just using that as a reinforcement, and you won't more than likely notice that once I get the batting and the fabric on. So that's what I'm going to use for. That's what I'm going to use for the cover, and I'll get to that soon. I'm not going to construct anything today on this video simply because I'm still drying paper <laughs> that I want to put in it that I that I was uh, I've got in the kitchen. Dying, I'm dying it. So what I'm going to do is try to pick out some papers. I want to put about 16 pages in, and that includes. So this is going to be one, and that includes some of the digitals. Now, I did have these. I had I found two different coloring books that had peacocks in them, so I definitely want to use that. And I don't know if I'm going to... So I could go up to 9 inches. If I trim this down... I could hinge I could hinge it in if I stay let's see what did I say I'm going 10 by 6 so I would just cut it down a little bit and hinge it in so I think that one I'm gonna hinge in this one came from a different book and 
I may also hinge that in. I'll cut it down. So I think that's what I'm going to do with those. So let's take those out. And then just pull out the papers I want to use. I want to use this one. This is that grungy paper I got from Kate Craft Store. So I'm going to fold that because I know I want to use that. I might sew two pages together. This is uh, just copy paper. And I might sew two pages together just to get rid of that white. Or I might use the white for journaling. This is just scratch or paper to use. I've got all my paper here to use in this journal. So, okay, to use. Okay, now these I'm going to use, but I'm going to have to cut them down because they're tall and I want to use them this way. So I'm going to cut those down, and I won't do that now. The same thing here. And my thought is to maybe back this with coffee dyed or something like that and, and sew it together. Okay, so I've got those. So you can see I'm working through it. I'm working through the process. Okay, here's Rachel's beautiful paper. This is from her um, Blue Kit One backgrounds. And I wanted to find, I mean, that one got jammed up. So did this one. I love that. And I think that's the same one as the Peacock little, where's it at? Yeah, I think it's the same one as this, as this uh, hinge. Yeah, so I think that would be pretty in there as well. So I'll keep that out and use that. Here's an extra one. I I loved them both, too, so I copied and then copied a couple. I like this one. I think that's going to be pretty. Uh, let's see here. I think these might be the ex some extras that I, I printed out. And I'll probably use them in the journal, just maybe not as a page. That's a fun color. Maybe I'll do that one instead of that one. <clears throat> so we'll save this for maybe we can do like tags or pockets or something like that. Okay. All right, so I think that's probably good. Oh, here's some, they're a little bit more green. Might use that. Maybe, we'll set it out. Okay, so that's just kind of the process of what I'm going for. Uh, here is that beautiful journal kit from a Secret Helper. Now, I don't know, that might be too much of the same, but this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like I would back it with another one and sew around it or just glue. So I'm def I'll definitely use that. And then, these, and then these, of course, I'll use. But then again, I'll probably want to sew them together and I haven't done that. So... Hmm. I am not as prepared as I thought. I thought this was... But that's okay because I still have some that are drying out there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. And then there's that ephemera. Okay, well, at least we can get some of the pages. And then I brought out some other pages. So let's, let's count this. Um... Now, if I sew them together, they'll count, they'll still count as just one, even though the thickness, but they'll just count as one. So one, two, three, four, four, five. Six, six and a half. All right, well, let's put one in there for seven. All right, so there's 
there's seven pages, so now we need about about nine more. So I have I have teal and like a teal green that I'm dying uh, drying it out in the kitchen. <clears throat> so um, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go with ten from in there, and so I need six more. So here's a bunch of coffee dyed that we could use. I pulled out some darker coffee dyed with imprints that I made that might be a little bit like a peacock. So this one probably, now that I'm weeding through them, probably not that one. Um, I think this one looks pretty good. We'll keep that one. I think this one's fine with that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I think that's fine. We'll put this in the maybe if we need it. And then this is a sewing page. I thought that was fun. And so I'll put that in there. So that's three. Um, what did I say? I need six more. And I found these for five. I might go more than that. Five, and then these are just like a tracing type of a paper. I might use it to back something because it's nice and crunchy. Uh, this is a dyed paper that we could put in and then just fold over. That's a maybe. I want to put that in the maybe file. This is an old ledger from... August 1914. I thought that would look neat. I think that would look neat. You know, we could put that in. And then here, this one we can easily cut down because I'm going to take this where it says staples. I'll take that off. And that'll be a fun color to put in. Okay. So, yeah. So there's the papers. That we'll, that we'll use. So the next thing for me to do is to sew those together and try to figure out what I want to do with the what I want to do with that cover. I'm a little distracted today with Joey's surgery tomorrow. We have things that we, you know, you have to get done here at the house. You know, you never know uh, how are you going to feel when you get back? And so it's been kind of a busy day and, you know, getting things done and, um, also kind of, you know, wanting to stay busy as well. So we'll get ready for dinner and then we'll start to wind down and then, uh, head over in the morning to the hospital, spend the day there. And then he'll be in the hospital for a day or at least. And, um, then, home for his recuperation while I uh, craft and sew and and be the best nurse I know how to be. We'll see how that goes. I love to dote on people, but ooh, I do not like to see people suffer. I cringe. So we'll see how that goes and uh, <laughs> I'll keep you posted for sure because I'll need to do a few crafts to keep my mind my mind still. Anyways, everyone, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the Kathy Holden fabrics. Ooh, I can't wait to use them. I'm seriously this time, I'm not even kidding. I'm going to make something. I'm going to use the fabric and make something. And um, I'm excited about getting a little further on this, on, on this peacock journal. Once I get the pages together, it really goes much, you know, much quicker than what it's gone so far. So anyways, have a great day. Blessings to everyone. Bye-bye.